The rift between allies NPP and BJP has widened further in the state with Chief Minister Konrad Sangma accusing the state unit of the BJP of misleading Union Minister of State for Minority Affairs John Barla on the recent inauguration of the PS Sangma Stadium in Tura. It may be mentioned that Union Minister John Barla, after his visit to the PS Sangma Stadium in Tura yesterday, accused the NPP-led state government of misleading the people on the funding of the facility. Barla said that despite 90% of the funds coming from the center, there is no mention of it anywhere. He also observed that the stadium has been inaugurated despite the fact that the construction work was yet to be complete. Let's listen in. आज मैं तुरा में आया हूँ और पीएस संगमा स्पोर्ट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स ये हमारे माइनॉरिटी डिपार्टमेंट के द्वारा से बनाया गया है प्रधानमंत्री जन विकास कार्यक्रम के द्वारा ये सेंट्रल फंड है 90 परसेंट हमने ये फंड देके इसको बना रहे हैं सेंट्रल फंड से लेकिन आज हम देख रहे हैं इनोग्रेट कर रहे हैं हमारा कहीं किसी जगह भी मेंशन नहीं किया है ना ऊपर में ये अभी कंप्लीट भी नहीं हुआ है और इसको इनोग्रेट कर लिया है कम से कम कंप्लीट हो जाए ये कहीं ना कहीं राजनीतिक हो रहा है ठीक है सेंट्रल का फंड है कम से कम सेंट्रल से मिलके आप लोग काम कर रहे हैं तो कम से कम सेंट्रल का तो फंड है कहीं पर तो इंकित होना चाहिए केवल स्टेट गवर्नमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट केवल अपना पार्टी का नाम रोशन कर रहा है बाकी सेंट्रल जो सारा फंड दे रहा है इसके बारे में कोई भी यहां पर उल्लेख नहीं किया गया है सारा मिनिस्ट्री से फंड आता है इस प्रकार से नहीं चलना चाहिए ऐसा आने वाला दिन सरकार आने वाले के यहां जनता आपको सही जवाब देगा इस प्रकार से नहीं होना चाहिए 127 करोड़ का हमने 85 करोड़ ऑलरेडी हम सैंक्शन कर चुका है और अभी भी कंप्लीट इनकंप्लीट है अभी बहुत सारा यहां पर हमने देखा बहुत सारा बीम है लोहा का बीम है बैंड हो गया है अभी अभी ये स्टार्ट नहीं हुआ हुआ है अभी ये हालत है पता नहीं कि आगे जाके क्या जिस प्रकार से फंड हमने दिया है उस प्रकार से काम होना चाहिए उस प्रकार से काम नहीं हुआ एंड लेट्स नाउ लिसन इन टू व्हाट चीफ मिनिस्टर कॉनरेड संगमा हैड टू से ऑन द इशू इट इज अनफॉर्चूनेट दैट सच स्टेटमेंट्स वेयर यू नो बिकॉज़ ऑफ इलेक्शंस और व्हाटएवर रीजन इट मे बी that uh, development work that is being done for the betterment of the people is being questioned uh, is a very sad uh, situation and unfortunate and uh, the local leadership that has uh, pushed this kind of a uh, uh, message to the union minister uh, has also something that is uh, very very unfortunate i think the local leaders who have made this statement and have instigated the minister to say such uh, wrong statements is unfortunate and looks like those local uh, leaders are not interested in bringing development for the people of our state. This particular stadium has been funded by central government. We have always maintained it and even in my speech that day I have maintained it. There are two parts to the stadium. One is an indoor stadium and one is an outdoor football stadium. For us to call a union minister to inaugurate a stadium where only one section is complete is not appropriate. Since the football stadium was already open, if it is not inaugurated and if it is not used, it is going to get spoiled. And hence, it is important that we start it and inaugurate it. Now, the norm of uh, chief minister or any minister inaugurating central schemes is always happened. Whether it's JJM program, whether it's MGNRGS work, whether it's PMGSY, we've always seen that state governments and the chief ministers and the concerned ministers have inaugurated. We are in a federal structure. Where the state and the central government work together for the benefit of the people. And to get more details on this, I am being joined by my colleague Naparun. So, Naparun, if you can hear me, war of words between allies and NPP and PGP over the inauguration of the PS Sangma Stadium. Your take. Yes, Chipen, this is a new low in the NPP-BJP relation in Meghalaya. Uh, of course, uh, we just heard what Chief Minister Kondir Sangma has said. Now, it's all started when the Union Minister of State uh, for Minority Affairs, John Barla, visited the PA Sangma Stadium in Tura yesterday. Barla was upset about the fact that the project, despite being funded, it's a 127 crore project, uh, Chipen, and 90% of the funding came from the center. 
So the union minister was upset that despite 90% of the funding coming from the center, there is no mention or, in other words, no credit, no due credit given to the BJP-led center. That is the bone of contention here. And uh, well, the Indian minister, without mincing words, has said this is an attempt to take political mileage of the entire development of the entire uh, situation. And uh, well, Chief, of course, saying that it is the state BJP blaming, uh, shifting the blame, putting the blame on the state BJP uh, for misleading the Indian minister on the issue. He has said the centre and the state need to work together. Uh, well, yes, uh, the Indian minister had also made a mention of this fact that the stadium is not yet is is not yet complete. Despite that, it was inaugurated. Uh, CM Sangma defended saying that it was already in use and had to be inaugurated, otherwise the facilities uh, will get worn out. So definitely this is, uh, the, the, the BJP has been has been accusing the NPP-led government, the NPP specifically, of uh, not implementing central schemes properly. This is the first time, uh, again, uh, in recent times, the BJP is now accusing the NPP of taking credit for something for which 90% of the funding came from the center. So, well, it's battle on in Garo Hills. It's battle on in Garo Hills between allies, BJP and NPP. We have the NPP campaign, uh, camping, we have the BJP leaders camping in Garo Hills. And definitely the war, war of words is, uh, is uh, likely to escalate uh, probably. And, uh, well, uh, we see another, another rift, the rift only widening between allies, BJP and NPP as far as Garo Hills is concerned. And uh, definitely Sarau over the inauguration of the PA Sangma Stadium, which was inaugurated on the 16th of December in Tura, Japan. Well, indeed, Nabarun, thank you so much uh, for providing those details.